Hey there Scorpio, welcome to Shared Sentience. I hope you all are doing well. This is going to be your general weekly reading. Any information you guys need can be found within the description box down below. I do have personals open right now as well. I have email reading options as well as recorded video reading options. So you can find all that information in the description box also. Okay, so Scorpio, I was seeing a lot of red for you guys. So red is associated with the root chakra. Okay, uh, so some grounding exercises may be beneficial to you all right now. I do feel like there could be a new attraction or passion. Um, some of you, there may be a connection with an Aries or a Leo that's becoming more grounded or uh, more solidified this week in some way, shape, or form, okay? Some of you guys could have an Aquarius moving towards you, or is there, there's a big um, rebirth energy moving in here, okay? Um, I feel like you're learning the ins and outs of something, and it is putting you in a whole new environment, okay? Um, I feel like birds are also going to be getting your attention a lot this week, okay? So someone has a strong connection to animals, birds specifically, all right? Um, I feel like animals gravitate towards you as well as children, okay? So there's something nurturing about your energy. Uh, there could also be a passed on loved one who's kind of connecting uh, with you through something in the flesh, okay? So whether this may be an animal or um, a person, <clears throat> need a drink. I also feel like some of you are trying to resist something that's moving into your space. This could be a Leo or an Aquarius, all right? But I feel like you don't want to open up even though you've thought about it. So there's something moving in here that you want to open up to and um, you've thought about opening up to this, but you don't want to at the same time. So I feel like for some of you, you've either dealt with this before or it reminds you of a past energy. So there's something about that here. All right, some of you are definitely creating something big, but it is tedious and it's time consuming, okay? Uh, I feel like it will pay off though, even though you're hitting a lot of obstacles at once. I feel like you guys are in a space where um, you're hitting blockage after blockage, obstacle after obstacle, whatever this may be, but I feel like it's going to be smooth sailing, all right? So I feel like the obstacles are kind of clumped together for some reason when it uh, comes to something that you're trying to create or get off the ground or something of that nature. I do feel like there's an older masculine energy who may be offering wisdom or support at this time, even if you're shutting them out, okay? They want to help with something here, okay? Some of you may be having problems with nursing at the same time. I feel like those problems are also about to let up for a bit, okay? Uh, there could be a female Sagittarius or a female Pisces who could be keeping a close eye on you when it comes to something. They're studying something you do or something you're into. They may be mimicking that in some way. So that's a weird energy I'm getting here for you, Scorpio, as well. So we're going to go ahead and uh, get on into this here. So let's see what's happening. Those are just some uh, side messages I was getting for you guys. So we're going to go ahead and start here, okay? So, past, weird, I think you guys can see all these. I'm going to show them anyways when I start to uh, go over them, okay? All right, okay. So, your overall here is going to be judgment, okay? So, Scorpio and uh, Aries, all right? Uh, so there is some kind of decision you're making this week or some kind of big awakening that's taking place here. So we are going to go ahead and clarify judgment just to get the overall energy right off that here. So let's see what's going on. All right. So. We're getting the King of Cups, Scorpio. We're getting the Knight of Swords, Gemini. And we're getting the Eight of Pentacles, Sun and Virgo energy, okay? All clarifying judgment. Um, so like I said, I feel like there is a very nurturing, older, like masculine energy. I'm feeling that off this King of Cups as well, who's trying to offer some kind of emotional support or some kind of wisdom. And I feel like you could be taking offense to this for whatever reason here. You could be taking it as judgment of some sort, okay? But I feel like they're trying to help you uh, master something here uh, that they have mastered themselves um, in their experience, all right? Uh, for others of you, I feel like this could be some kind of... You you know, King of Cups is a very dreamy, intuitive kind of energy, so I feel like this could be some kind of dream, some kind of message you're getting through a dream, or some kind of awakening, okay? Um, you have the Knight of Swords here as well, so this could be something that's kind of, um, it feels very aggressive. It might even uh, feel like an attack in some way, shape, or form is how I'm feeling with this Knight of Swords, but it's just something that you need to work on, okay? Uh, you have the Seven of Cups in your recent past, so we have Venus and Scorpio energy here. We have the Five of Cups as well, Mars and Scorpio. 
And we have the Two of Pentacles, Jupiter and Capricorn, okay? Um, so I feel like there are a lot of doors that open for you here in the uh, recent past. And it's not even necessarily that you realize that these doors are open um, or that a lot of doors are open. It just feels as if, where do I go now? That's kind of the Seven of Cups energy that I'm, uh, that's kind of the energy I'm getting from the Seven of Cups here, okay? So we're going to go ahead and clarify this. Yeah, it feels like you're in a, in a rut here with this Five of Cups energy, okay? Uh, confusion with that Two of Pentacles, not knowing where to go next, okay? So let's go ahead and clarify what the Seven of Cups is saying here. We're getting the world, fixed energy. So there's that in-between phase. Then we have the Two of Pentacles again. And then we have the star, okay? So yeah, there's a rebirth that's taking place here. I feel like whatever change you guys are about to go through or change you're already going through, I feel like this is going to be the biggest one yet because judgment, there's some kind of awakening here. I mean, you have the world, you have the star. That represents a rebirth, okay? These red infinity symbols up here on the world card, um, if you can see them on the wreath here, right? right there. Those represent um, something that's going to change the course of your path forever. So I feel like this is honestly for somebody who may be feeling like they're not even doing anything right now. Maybe you're out of work. You don't have any um, connections in your life right now that feel very meaningful. It could be something like that. You know, I feel like there's some kind of awakening that's taking place. Like this quiet energy is happening for a reason. It's so you can work on something with that Eight of Pentacles, that Judgment card. I'm also feeling that um, Kundalini energy here. So let's go ahead and clarify this Five of Cups. Yeah, it seems like you're just very up and down with that world card showing up here. I feel like you're just like mid-transition. There's something new that's about to take place. You have the sun, okay, Leo energy. You have the full Aquarian energy. Yeah, you're about to start all over when it comes to something here. The Eight of Cups, Saturn, and Pisces, all right? I think there's some disappointment when it comes to um, something you walked away from or something that, and it, this doesn't even necessarily mean that you uh, had a choice in walking away from this. I feel like there's something that you left here, left behind, okay? Uh, you feel like you can't return to that for some of you. Uh, for others of you, you were kicked out of a situation. This can mean that you lost your job or something of that nature here, all right? Um, but at the same time, I feel like there's a sense of like liberation here as well with the full card showing up. And the sun card being here is telling me, you know, that things are looking up for you or they're about to look up for you, okay? Um, the, your guides are lighting the way. You'll even see the sun right up here in this corner uh, for you to take a leap of faith on something. So they want you to know that it's right there. Uh, you have the Ten of Swords showing up as well. Sun and Gemini energy. You also have the Six of Pentacles, Moon and Taurus, Moon and Libra. And you have the Seven of Pentacles, Saturn and Taurus, okay? So I feel like you are feeling restricted or delayed in some way when it comes to seeds that you're trying to plant, right? Because uh, clarifying this two of pentacles is the ten of uh, swords, okay? So this ending had to happen in order for you to plant seeds elsewhere, okay? And I feel like that's exactly what you're doing, but it seems very up and down. You feel very restricted, okay? Because the six of pentacles, it is where you plant the seeds. Seven of pentacles, seeds are sown, things are developing and growing, but you're not satisfied with the progress of this, okay? You have the nine of pentacles showing up in the current energy, all right? So Venus and Virgo, the the devil. Be careful with temptation or overindulging in things with both these cards showing up. Capricorn energy and then you have the six of cups. Sun and Scorpio. Whatever experience you have, especially if this is a work situation, whatever experience you have, whatever past you have here is about to uh, pay off in some way, shape, or form, okay? Tell me about the nine of pentacles. I also feel like this is guidance of some sort uh, moving through here. Tell me about the nine of pentacles. Two of Wands, Mars and Aries, the Hair Font, Taurus, the Chariot, Cancer, okay? And I'm going to go ahead and clarify these other two cards here. Right about the Devil, please. The Five of Cups, Mars and Scorpio, the Page of Wands, Fire, Aries, Sag, Leo, and the Devil. Capricorn energy. So that's kind of confirming my instincts that there's some kind of um, overindulgence in something here. Talk about the Six of Cups. Talk about the Six of Cups, please, for Scorpio. Okay, we're getting the Empress, Taurus, and Libra. We're getting the Seven of Cups again, Venus and Scorpio, and the King of Pentacles, Taurus energy. 
Um, I do feel like you're being tempted or tested in a situation here, okay? With that Nine of Pentacles energy showing up and the Eight of Pentacles um, clarifying your overall energy, which is judgment, right? You move from the Eight to the Nine of Pentacles, which is telling me that you're progressing in some way when it comes to whatever it is that you're building here. Uh, but you do need to release control, okay? Uh, the Two of Wands, that's a young emperor here in this card. So um, it's possible that, you know, you want a connection to move faster than it's moving. You want a business to move faster than it's moving. They want you to release control in this situation and trust in the higher powers, okay? With the hair font showing up here, you have the chariot here as well. So you will have a victory here in this situation. You just need to trust that, okay? And let go of control, let go of, um, you know, when you think things are supposed to happen or exactly how you think they're supposed to happen. Um, you have the devil card here as well, clarifying that as the five of cups. Yeah, because if you keep holding on to this control, there's there's too much of it, okay? If you keep holding on to this, it's gonna lead to disappointment, all right? Because you're gonna put too much pressure on the situation and your passion is gonna turn toxic. You know, this connection with this fire sign or this Capricorn. It's going to turn toxic, whatever this is. You're putting too much pressure on it, okay? And I feel like it's because of some kind of fear that stems from a past situation that didn't work out. Now you have the Six of Cups here as well. That's why I'm saying that, you know, your past, it's going to benefit you. Whatever experience you have, it's going to benefit you as long as you learn from it, okay? As long as you learn from this lesson that's coming in about that, okay? You have the Empress clarifying it. You have the Seven of Cups and the King of Pentacles, okay? So yeah, I feel like you're in this in-between energy where spirit is saying, pick your path. You know, do you want to repeat the same things as last time or do you want to learn from them? Okay, so you're in that in-between phase again here. You know, do you want to grow or do you want to stay stuck? Okay, so that's something that they're asking you here. Um, and in your current or in your future energy, you have the King of Swords, Aquarius. You have the Ace of Swords, Air, Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. And you have the Six of Wands, Jupiter, and Leo. Okay. So we're going to go ahead and clarify this here for you, Scorpio. Clarify the King of Swords for Scorpio. Okay, so we're getting the Two of Cups, Venus and Cancer. The Emperor. Aries energy. Some of you guys are definitely building an empire, building a business. Four of Swords, Jupiter and Libra. Tell me about the Ace of Swords, please, for Scorpio. What's going on with the Ace of Swords for Scorpio? Six of Wands, Jupiter and Leo. The Ace of Wands, Fire, Aries, Sag, Leo. And the Ace of Pentacles. Three Aces right here. This is crazy. <laughs> Earth, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Tell me about the Six of Wands, please, and then we'll tie this together. Talk about the Six of Wands, please. Okay, what's this? Two of Swords, Moon and Libra. Eight of Swords, Jupiter and Gemini. And the Queen of Cups, Cancerian Energy, okay? Um, so there's an honest conversation that you need to have with yourself. Uh, it's basically what this King of Swords energy is telling me here. One second. Because again, I feel like you want something new, but you're fearing either letting go of something from the past for good, okay? Or you're fearing that the same thing is going to repeat with a new situation. It seems like a lot of you guys are in a very stagnant place, um, either in love or in work or business, okay? It seems like there's some kind of new passion or new attraction you want to head towards. You want to invest in it, okay? But at the same time, you want to stay comfortable. There's a lot of fear uh, surrounding this new investment here. You have the King of Swords, which to me speaks a lot about honesty. Clarifying it, you have the Two of Cups, okay? So coming face-to-face -face with some kind of truth or having some kind of honest conversation, you have the Emperor here. Um, I feel like you are trying to take some kind of head over heart approach to something where you're just trying to um, run through something or skim over some kind of uncomfortable emotion or uncomfortable situation. Then you have the Four of Swords here, which is telling me that it needs healed, okay? It needs more attention. It needs more nurturing than you are giving it, okay? Or than you want to give it. You have a very cold approach to um, some kind of uh, way of doing things, some kind of way of dealing with feelings or way of dealing with um, some kind of mistake that has been made in the past, some kind of um, failure or it's how you perceive failure. It's something like that here. You have the Ace of Swords. Though. There's some kind of breakthrough or epiphany. Something comes in here, all right? You have the Six of Wands here as well. You're recognizing something, all right? Um, you know, there's no way you can unsee it once you see it is how this feels to me, all right? So it is some kind of truth um, and it may feel like a, like I don't want to be so dramatic as to call it a curse, 
universe, but it may feel that way to you, okay? Because that's the term that I'm getting, but the Ace of Wands is actually a gift, okay? This is going to allow you, in recognizing this and dealing with it and healing from it, it's going to allow you to plant new seeds, okay? With something or someone you're very passionate about. Now, you have the Six of Wands here, which can represent a victory, can represent uh, being recognized for something, all right? Clarifying it though, you have the Two of Swords and you have the Eight of Swords and you have the Queen of Cups, okay? So once again, this is you needing to look at something, you know? She has the blindfold on in both of these cards, all right? So maybe you are kind of placing... Um you know, uh, you're placing a lot of blame on external things, all right? And yes, there are absolutely external obstacles 100% when it comes to anything you're trying to get off the ground, uh, but they want you to look within. They're telling you that you are part of the issue here, okay? The blindfold represents needing to look within in order to pick a path, okay? In order to move, she could set herself free, right? The swords, they represent the mind, the intellect, okay? So, you know, with the blindfold being present here, she could shift her perspective and set herself free, all right? It's all about, do I want to continue to invest in this? Do I want to move through this obstacle or do I want to turn back around and go to where it's comfortable where I don't have to do anything at all okay so it seems like you guys have been hurt in a situation um or you're fearing something here to the point where you don't even want to try okay so uh, that's something they're telling you you need to move out of because you will have success and victory within this it's just all about pushing through those obstacles that everybody faces okay queen of cups there's also something that you need to nurture here within you and heal within yourself in order to be able to go for these things more often okay it's not a one-time thing so this is going to be a big shift that happens here uh, within your life, all right? So uh, some kind of awakening is taking place this week is how I feel in regards to getting started on something or moving towards something that you know you want, all right? So that's what I'm feeling here for you, Scorpio. I hope that this was helpful. I want to thank you all so much for watching and supporting me. I know this, this was kind of specific. If you guys would like um, a reading more tailored to your energy, uh, all that information can be found within the description box. You all have a great week. Bye.